on this video, I will discuss arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is an indicated sum of an arithmetic sequence, meaning to say that if we add up all the terms or all the numbers in an arithmetic sequence, that will be the value of our arithmetic series. The value of an arithmetic series can be computed using the formula S sub n is equal to n all over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n, where a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, and n is the total number of terms. So for us to further understand arithmetic series, let us have examples. So example number 1. If the first term of an arithmetic sequence is negative 2 and the 10th term is 43, find the sum of the 10 terms. So on an arithmetic series, even if we do not have the value between the first term and the last term, we can still compute for the arithmetic series or the sum of the terms using our formula. So let us now compute for the sum of the 10 terms. So first, let us identify a sub n, a sub 1, and n. So our a sub n, which is the n term, so the n term on this example is 43. A sub 1, so A sub 1 is the first term. The first term is negative 2. And our N is the total number which is 10. So we are going to find for the sum of 10 terms, therefore our N will be 10. So substituting now these values into our for formula, so I'm going to write the formula, S sub N is equal to N all over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. So, s sub 10 now, or the series of the 10 terms, is equal to n, which is 10, all over 2, times the quantity of a sub 1, which is equal to negative 2, plus a sub n, which is, 43. Then let us simplify further. So 10 all over 2 is 5. So that also means 10 divided by 2. So that will be 5 times the quantity of negative 2 plus 43 will be 41. So 5 times 41 is equal to 205. So therefore, the sum of the 10 terms on this arithmetic sequence will be equal to 205. Next example. Find the sum of the odd numbers between 1 and 100. So what are these odd numbers? So we have 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on and so forth. So on this example, we are tasked to find for the sum of odd numbers from 1 to 100. So let us identify a sub n, a sub 1, and n. So our a sub n, which is our n term, so the n term on or on this example, will be 99. So why 99? Because 99 is the last odd numbers, or sorry, odd number between 1 and 100. So that will be 99. And our a sub 1, so a sub 1 is the first term. So what is the first odd number between 1 and 100? So that will be 1. And our n, so n, is the total number of 
the term. So, how many odd numbers do we have from 1 to 100? So, we have 50. We have 50 odd numbers and we also have 50 even numbers. So, that will be 50. So, let us now compute for its arithmetic series using the formula S sub n is equal to n all over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 plus a sub n. So, the series now of the 50 terms or the sum of the 50 terms is equal to n which is 50 all over 2 times the quantity of a sub 1 which is 1 plus a sub n which is 99. So, simplifying it further, 50 divided by 2 will be 25. So, 1 plus 99 is 100. So, 25 now times 100 is 2,500.